What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be working with sockets. So what we'd like to do is get real-time data on the auctions, what auctions are currently available. Um, and when they're added, we should see them pop up real-time and just see like interact and you should see the screen updating without doing anything. Should be auctions coming in and out, that sort of thing. So what we're gonna do is use sockets to go about doing this. So I'll show you right here how Feathers JS does sockets. So we're going to basically do something like this, where the service we're going to say auctions here, and then on whenever an auction is created, we add it to our list of auctions. And then secondly, we're going to emit an action because at first we don't want to just listen for the we want to like get previous ones as well. Um, so we're going to use socket .emit right here to uh, find. This will retrieve a list of all our auctions. So those are the two things that we're going to do. And notice here, we use an actual socket um, object, whereas here we um, use the service method. So if we come back to our code, and we go to modules, index here, we're gonna wanna export our socket as well. So we're exporting our socket IO app and our socket. And I'm just gonna say socket app so it's shorter. Okay, so we have access to both of these now. And we wanna use both of these in our view auctions. Um, so let's go ahead and import both socket and socket app from, and this is our modules folder, so if we go up one, then into modules, and then, yeah, the index file, which you'll grab automatically. Okay, so we have both of these. And we actually need to turn this into a regular React component that has a class, because we're gonna need to use a component will mount. So class, um, this is called view auctions, um, extends, and this is a React component, component, and then we're going to just have a render function here, return, oops, and we can move that inside of there. Just put it inside of return, and return looks slightly discolored. I think, I think usually it's yellow, so wonder if I have a syntax error or something. Just real quick, I want to refresh and see if I have a syntax error. So we haven't done anything that would cause a syntax error. Oops, we should have on line 28. We haven't done anything that should mess anything up. Um, oh, oh, I did this wrong. There we go. This should be a curly brace. I'm so used to um, lambdas or anonymous functions that I did it like that. So component will mount is what we want to do. And so the comp when the component mounts, we basically want to set up the socket um, connection. So here we're going to say socket app dot service auctions. And we're going to, I think it was Oops, whoa. And then dot on, we're gonna listen for created. And then let's look at what the other, on created and then message. So this will be auction. And when we get an auction, what we wanna do is basically call an action to update our Redux store that we got a new auction. So maybe call it auction created, pass in our auction, get this from this.props. So now that we have an action here that we wanna be calling, we actually need to make this a, uh, connect this to the Redux store, because we want to um, call this action and update the Redux store. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to adds, a view auctions, oops, that needs to be a folder, 
view auctions and then we'll move this guy inside of there and call it view.js and then it needs to have an index folder which we can copy from sign up so view auctions okay so now view auctions has an index and a view and we're grabbing the view here we're going to have do auction created and this is we're going to create a new module called auctions or we call, I guess we call it user, so this should be auction. Um, so, we, so we'll create that module and this will be auction created. So now coming back to our view, we not only want to listen for when actions are created, remember how we wanted to fetch all the auctions at first using this. So let's just copy that. So for us, we're going to do socket.emit. It's going to be auctions. Find is good. We just want to find all of them, so we don't have to put anything there. And so error and data. And let's just for now console log it so we can see um, found all auctions. Let's just console log this. I'm going to comment out this auction created that way because uh, we haven't created this action yet. So we can see if we get all the auctions by running this. And I'm going to go back to index, comment you out, comment you out. And we'll do that in a second. So right now, all we're doing is when we load the page, we should uh, fire off this socket. Uh, can uh, emit a message and we're saying find these auctions. All right, let's refresh and see. Okay, modules. Oh, this needs to be up one more folder because we added a folder now. You must pass the component to the function return by connect instead of nothing. Um, port view, view, this needs to just be export default for a class. Refresh. All right. And then let's see, there should be something about auctions here. Auctions. Found all auctions undefined. So maybe there was an error. Console.log error. Or possibly there are no auctions. Let's find out. Because I think I might have wiped the database accidentally. All right. No auth token, not authenticated. Okay. So doesn't like that we're not authenticated. If I go into the modules right here, we can add authentication, just like we did with our REST app. Now let's give that a refresh. Are we still getting there? Found all auctions undefined, feathers error not authenticated. Refresh again, let's make sure, okay. So it looks like we're going to have to add, pass in the authentication token ourselves. So we can get rid of that. And the only thing I can think of is to do like, uh, access token and pass in the access token. Um, which we can get from this.props.user.access token. Now, because we're getting the access token from the user and we're adding the user to the store, um, so let's grab the user here too. Oops. So when we connect, we need to get the user from uh, the Redux store. So now we have the user there. But I don't think we actually passed in the access token with the user when we log in slash authenticate. 
response dot yeah it's in my saga right here so yeah we do response dot user when we receive the auth and we're not passing in okay let's do in the api no this is bad let's do in the saga so what i want to do is i want to get response dot access token as well so it'll be access token is equal to response dot access token and then we're just going to um, so we're going to get all of the user so does this look good yeah okay so instead of just passing the user what i want to also pass in is the access token so we have access to that so we have access token and we have the user here and I want to do the same when we receive the login here. Okay. So when we receive login or receive auth, we want to also pass in the access token. All right, that looks good. Let's refresh that and see if um, it likes it better. Okay, still not authenticated. Let's make sure we actually are getting the access token like we think we are. So I'm just going to do console.log access token and then pass in this.props.user.access token. Alrighty. Refresh that. So access token is undefined okay so we're we're getting undefined here let's print out what the user is because look it's coming back with the access token Okay, for whatever reason, the user is just empty. Because it looks like it gets here, the user is empty. Interesting. It looks like it's coming here okay so the user is empty right here right but notice the the uh, sequence of print statements um, component will mount for our view auctions is going right here and then we're printing the response from the server but we shouldn't even get to this page before the user is authenticated like we will not mount this component until a user is authenticated. So there might be a problem with our auth required. Console.log this.props.user auth comp. Yeah, let's let's Oh, you know what? And we're passing. We don't need to pass the props in. I wonder if that was messing up. Let's see. All right. Run that. Okay. Found all auctions undefined still. Let's just read through how this is going. Okay. So off comp, and we see this. Found all auctions is undefined still. Okay. So off comp is nothing. And then we get access token. Okay, so this should not be rendered, but it is getting rendered. So object.keys, this.props that user is equal to zero. If that's true, we should be loading this. So let's console.log the value. This should be false. Or sorry, this should be true. 
see if it is. False. It's false. It should be true. So that's what our problem is. And this stub props user is an empty object. Ah, dot length is what I meant to do. I meant to check the length of the object eh, to see if it has any keys. All right. Now our access token has this. Cool. Now we actually are passing the access token. So that was a small bug in our required auth or auth required. Now our access token should actually be legitimate. Access token. This should actually be giving something. But it doesn't like it, I'm guessing, because we're not authenticated. Oops, I meant to refresh over here. Okay, still doesn't like that we're not authenticated. So I have to authenticate in a different way then. What if I also, what if I do both? Just uh, pass the authentication token in and I also do auth that way. Okay, still not authenticated. See if the docs have anything just right off the bat with authentication. Auth. They have auth on the side panel. Here we go. A good place to listen to customers or add authorization. Okay, I'm not sure why that is. I wonder if we can fix this on the server side. So I'm just gonna go to the server code real quick. I'm gonna go into my services and my auctions <clears throat> and the hooks. Interesting, so for whatever reason, there's not even anything blocking. We didn't add authentication to sockets, it's auto authenticating. Okay, so this looks like um, something that's gonna require further research. So I think I'm gonna leave the video off here and in the next video, we will get this authenticated with our sockets. That way we can get sockets authenticated and actually fetch these uh, auctions. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.